economics matter because economic issues are a prominent aspect uh, of life of individuals and whole societies. So uh, most of our time during the working life, we are in the office or at the working place. And for society, so societies, economic welfare is an, a fundamental element. Economics indeed matters because it enables us to measure all aspects of the well-being of society using what I consider a common standard, especially uh, because I do believe, like it's often said, that it is difficult to manage what you can't measure. I also feel that economics breaks down the complexities of business and society into numbers and concepts that enables an understanding of how scarce resources are hopefully efficiently deployed for the good of society. I believe it helps us ensure the welfare of individuals, of companies, of nations and society. Oikos is the household, so managing households, managing survival in the early stages, um, managing maybe growth, managing innovation um, in families, communities, societies is of course an essential part of the human endeavor <laughs> because we live together and we're trying to manage our resources and our, our survival uh, together in one way or another. It matters because it enables you to look at the uh, grand um, political and economic changes in history and to explain them with economic factors. A different more neoclassical, I think, view of economics would be more pragmatic, would be to argue that economics matters because it is uh, it deals with our ordinary life and its objective is to improve ordinary life, to make our uh, incomes higher, like, uh, maybe to allow us to more have more free time, or in other words, to actually make poverty disappear so that we can actually enjoy many other activities that we like while having satisfactory level of living. There's three reasons that I'd point to about why, in my mind, economics matters. I think the first one is about material well-being. The second reason why economics matters is because it deals with issues of power and inequality. And those are central to how society is, is structured. And the third thing I think why economics matters is because it, it lays an, an overview, if you like, of how we view ourselves, what it is to, means to be human and what it means to live a good life. The most obvious way that economics matters is that it has an enormous prestige in our society. Economists have a level of respect uh, and authority that no other social scientist, arguably no other academic discipline, um, possesses. Uh, you know, an enormous number of policy debates are conducted in the language of economics. Uh, there's, there's an ability of an economist to, to, to speak directly in, in, in policy settings and political settings in a way that most academics simply, simply can't. It's also important to realize that economics has actually come up with some very useful concepts, if you will, right, to uh, make sense of this world around us, concepts like GDP uh, or uh, employment. These are actually concepts which are well-defined and measured, and it's not straightforward. It really helps us to, to have an understanding of the system as a whole. Many people think that economics has become more important over the course of the last century or so. And I think that's basically right. Um, but why it's right is quite interesting. It's because life in the modern era became basically more certain. You didn't need to worry so much about sudden mortality. Um, you could plan for longer. Uh, and as a consequence, thinking about these longer term questions viewing them through an economic lens uh, became became more central. One thing that I recognize is that um, the current economic models really don't factor in many things that are really critical. They factor in, they think about climate issues, little viruses and, and brain issues as externalities um, that aren't central to core economic thinking. 
and uh, these things need to be considered in a in more of a kind of complexity science approach to economics um, so that economics can matter more. Entonces, la mirada desde la economía y por qué la economía importa es precisamente para mirar no solamente aquello que es la mirada hegemónica sobre la economía monetaria, sino la mirada sobre la economía no monetaria, que es precisamente la economía del cuidado, donde los aportes de las feministas y de las economistas feministas ha sido central.